In this video, I wanna talk about the color bubble gum. Bubble gum to me is one of those things that I was never really a big fan of because I'm just not big into the color game. But over the last several years, I have found a few situations and a few techniques where having a bubble gum colored lure will outperform all the other baits that you have. And in today's video, I wanna talk specifically about those. Now, real quick, this video is brought to you by Miller Tech Batteries. If you guys are on the market for lithium batteries of any sort, I'm gonna highly suggest Miller Tech. And for a number of reasons. One, they have a 10 year warranty. That is awesome to say the least. Also, I love their app. There's an app that connects directly to the batteries. I can always see what percentage my batteries are at. Also, if you guys wanna click the link down below in the description, you can save 10% on your battery purchase. So if you're on the market, you're thinking about lithiums, click that link down below, save 10% and save some money on lithiums. All right, let's talk about bubble gum. And for those of you who have watched this channel for a number of years, or this channel or my Bass Fishing HQ channel, you know that I'm not really big on the color game. And I'm really not, and I think for the majority of the year, I'm still that way. I think you throw your green pumpkins, your blacks, your whites, and you're pretty much good to go. But when it comes to time of the year, when I'm talking about pre-spawn to post-spawn, that window, whenever it kind of falls, wherever you live in the country, that is the time of the year where I start incorporating bubble gum into my lures. Now I've done it in small ways. For example, I've had spinner baits where I use a bubble gum colored kicker blade on them. And I've seen that to work extremely well. And the, the reason that I even did that is because I got whooped by a guy one time who was fishing that behind me. I watched him catch like eight bass in an area where I just fished and caught like two. So to me, I like automatically knew, wow, there's something really to that little blade. Now, another big thing that I like to do, and that's why I'm holding this bag right here, is fish a floating worm. If you guys have not fished a floating worm, I highly suggest you fish this technique. Now, a floating worm technique actually doesn't mean the worm is floating. Basically, you're just keeping it just below the surface all the time. I've done a number of videos over on Bass Fishing HQ about the floating worm. And in my opinion, the best color to use when you're fishing that technique is bubble gum. It really is. I've tried a number of them. You know, I've had good success with methylate. I've done a standard white. I've done like the really high vis green and yellow type colors. But to me, I always come back to the bubble gum. And I don't know exactly why it is. I do know though that I fish it a lot again in that pre-spawn to post-spawn time frame. And so in that time frame, you know, when bass are a little bit shallower, I think that part of the reason why bubble gum can stand out to them at times is because bass can see the color red very well. Now I know that bubble gum is not red, but I feel like it's kind of close. I feel like red and pink, maybe in a bass's eyes, kind of do the exact same thing. I, I have no scientific data to prove that. It's just my thought because I have seen time and time again, when you're fishing shallow water in the springtime during that time of the year, where this thing will just, it'll, it'll outproduce every other color. It's, it's crazy. And to me, it's a lot like fishing red in the pre-spawn. I remember fishing down in North Carolina, fishing a, a floating worm and I was casting it out by literally I was fishing this right behind guys. Cause there were so many areas that were so crowded with guys. And a lot of guys were throwing your, your typical, just wacky wig, wacky rigged Cinco style baits, your green pumpkins. I went behind them throwing a floating worm and absolutely caught the fire behind them. And that was really when I was like, wow, this thing really, really works. Another situation that I ran out to on the water and it's, 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 it's just another situation throughout the year where I will pick up bubble gum is anytime I'm fishing for spotted bass and smallmouth. Those two particular species are very, very aggressive at times. And I have seen days on the water. For example, I was fishing with a buddy of mine. He was fishing as like the co-angler, but he was fishing a bubble gum fluke and we were fishing for spotted bass. And this was this was another one of those unbelievable moments because I was fishing a regular like white fluke style bait and I was also fishing a hard jerk bait as well. And 
we were both catching fish, but every fish that he caught on that bubblegum fluke was substantially bigger than the rest of them. Like substantially bigger than all the fish that I caught. And I just remember sitting there like thinking, wow, color actually matters right now. Like it, it not only it doesn't matter, but it's something that I would have just never thought of. Now, one of the big reasons I think that it works so well is because it was just different. You know, these spots were highly aggressive. This was, just, this was something that they may have not seen a whole lot. And therefore it was triggering those bigger, maybe a little bit smarter bass to bite when my standard baits were not triggering them to bite. I've seen the exact same thing with smallmouth. I remember actually fishing for a smallmouth that was on a boulder, throwing a bunch of different baits at this particular bass. And then all of a sudden I picked up a, a, a bubble gum worm, threw it out there and it was first cast immediately. And I, again, it was one of those things where it just clicked with me. I'm like, wow, that color actually really made a difference in that moment. Now, besides um, the pre-spawn and post-spawn time of the year, and besides fishing for smallmouth and large or spotted bass, the only other thing that I'm going to do from time to time is fish a bubblegum swim jig. And I know that that sounds really, really stupid, and it, honestly, it kind of is. But this is something that I just got to thinking about one day because I fish a floating worm in a lot of the same situations that I would throw a swim jig. And I thought if, they're, if they hit a pink floating worm, would they hit a pink swim jig? And sure enough, the, I caught the fire out of them. I caught a ton of fish on a pink swim jig. They were even, a pink swim jig is pretty hard to find by the way. So anyways, keep that one under the radar a little bit. I know I'm telling the world, but don't tell your friends. So anyways, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Bubble gum will work sometimes. I'm also very interested, when has it worked for you? I would love to know down below in the comments when it has worked. So if you guys enjoyed this video, you might like my most recent one. I'm gonna leave it right here and uh, I will see you guys tomorrow.